With the DJI Mavic 4 Pro, it's a superb cinematic drone. And one of the things that really attracted to me is the fact that it's got these all color profiles across all the cameras, all the lenses, and with 6K as well, I wanted to get out there and try them all out, cross all the lenses and put them to the test. And that's what we've done. And I've compared all the footage so I can share that with you so we can see which is our favorite. So let's get out there. What I want to look at right now are the different color profiles we've got here. Try it with the different lenses as well and uh, see if it works in 4K, 6K and just do little comparisons. Let's go into video mode, normal, 4K 50 frames a second. And I'm on the normal lens and uh, I'm going to bring the drone closer to me. Uh, and the idea of this is I want to be able to see my skin tone because I think that's quite a good way of testing. And I'm in normal mode there and I'm just going to fly 360 around me. So I've selected myself. I'm just going to use myself as a point of interest because the light will affect us from different angles. C1, there to select. Yes, point of interest. Here we go. I'm going to go fast. Let's record that. Let's go to zoom round so we can look at how the skin is in different light. And then we can just do a comparison there. Let's go to the medium lens. So let's now just take the drone back a little bit. So we sort of keep a more of a similar perspective. Hit the C1 button, point of interest. We'll send it round again. And it goes. So how are the skin tones looking with this lens? Just in normal mode. So I'm going to hit the C1 button, point of interest, enable to switch, I'm using current camera, okay, right, so I didn't know that, so let's just fly it around in a circle, and we'll see how the colour profile looks on that, it's a bit bright, I'm probably squinting, gust of wind there but I can't see the drone being affected at all so that's all in normal mode uh, so let's just go up to the top we'll do D log and we'll do actually let's just do it in reverse because the drone's in the right position start recording and round we go again Give it some speed. It's really leaning in, <laughs> which is great. Uh, be interested to see how much shutter drag I get on the background with this, because we're not using any ND filters, because I just want the true color profiles and no, nothing affecting that. Hit the C1, hit record, and around we go again. So I'm sure there won't be a shutter drag on me. Uh, this is why we use ND filters to remove that. Well, that's a 28 mil, it's still really wide because that, that drone is only 11 meters from me. Uh, so we just start recording. Spotlight, I think it's just as easy to keep it in spotlight. I can just drive it down as I please and stop it more easily as I please. Okay, so I don't know if you can see that in post production, but it's going like that when I stop it. Uh, right, okay. Right, that's D-Log. D-Log M, game will start with a wide angle. Start recording, and around it goes. I'm guessing with this lens, you're gonna see, got a shutter drag, and you'll see. Ooh, okay, that's my 360 there. 
Okay, now we'll go around. Uh, I have got color assist on, so on the screen we should be seeing an adjusted color balance for our viewing pleasure. And then we'll look at the differences in post-production with or without. Let's see one, record, and round we go. Lovely. How are those skin tones looking? Up we go to HLG. Hit the C1 button. There we go again. The last time I did do this, I found, uh, when I was looking at the screen here, uh, it looked really over-processed, but in uh, post-production, it actually looked quite nice. All right, around we go. Just vary it, go the other way around. So I know this is not the most interesting footage I'm filming today, but I want to keep the, um, the test consistent so we can really see what's going on to get a true comparison. So. And uh, using people, using their skin tone, I think is always the best way to do a comparison. So we're just gonna try out these color modes in 6K now. So as you can see, we're in video mode. And if I click here, you can see I've just put it in 6K my usual 50 frames a second. And then we can just have a look how that works. Now at the moment, this is just in normal mode. So let's just pop this drone in the air. Okay. Checking skin tones. And that's fine there. Round we go. Go from the shadow side to the sunny side. That's the D log. See how that looks. Okay, and then D log M. And let's have a look at that. Okay. HLG. Put on to longer lens and as you can see, we don't have the 6K option, uh, neither do we in the telephoto. So that's our little experiment with the 6K, and uh, let's have a look at that in the studio. And now back in the studio, we can see some side by side. So in the top left hand side, we've got normal color mode, which I find is always a little bit over processed. D-Log looking sweet, I'm really liking that. D-Log M always looks slightly limey and HLG is just um, a bit muddy, not very keen. So between for me, it's between D-Log and D-Log M. Uh, what's your favorite? What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Well, I hope you found that interesting. Now, of course, there are product links in the description below and uh, you want to see more videos on the DJI Mavic 4 Pro, then there's a playlist over here. Please show me the love, subscribe to the channel here, and look forward to seeing you over there.